hands are underneath the shoulders, the legs are extended backwards. So feet are in line with your hips. Modification, drop hands towards those knees. But if you're with me in the advanced room, the knees are lifted. You've got a straight line, crown of the head down towards those heels. So you're gonna squeeze your right knee into the chest. You're gonna turn it out, turn it down, push it back. Other leg go in to the side, back and push. So the knee comes into the chest, it externally rotates and then pushes backwards. So you're taking a turn out position here with the leg, squeeze the knee in. Option here, if you want the modification, you can always just hold your plank or drop down towards those knees and hold a modified plank position. Turn down, push back, you've got it in, turn out, turn down, then press. You've got two more, keep driving your belly button up towards your spine, shoulders fall over the top of the wrist. You're gonna stay here in a plank. Shoulders over the top of those wrists, eye line just in between your fingertips at the very edge. Drive back to the heels, heels are floating over the top of the balls of the feet. Now stay there, inhale, exhale, you've got this. I know that you can hold your plank for another 20 more seconds, you can do this. Nice deep breath in, nice deep breath, exhale away. Run the palms into your mat for a final 10. Go nine, drop the knees in, eight, in seven, in six, drop the knees in five, in four, in three, in two, in one. Lower those knees down. You're gonna push back to a child's pose. Give those wrists a quick break. Give them a roll out, and then you're gonna flip it around on towards your butt. <laughs> I want you to bring your fingertips now towards your feet. So fingertips towards your feet here, and you're gonna drive the heels into the ground, lift the hips off. So modification, keep those hips down the floor. We're gonna take tricep dips, bend, for two, we push to the top. So go bend, bend, press. Go drop and drop, go lift. Two bends and push to the top. We go big bend, big bend. Press all the way up, go bend for two and squeeze. Two more, then you're gonna hold. Drop, then lift. One more, then you're gonna hold. Drop and lift. Now bend through the elbows, fire those elbows backwards. Little miniature presses down and down we go little press little press bend through those elbows inhale exhale we go bend don't let the hips touch the floor dig the heels in now make sure are your fingertips pointing towards your heels notice your fingertips pointing to your heels four 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 three don't jump out two one now extend up through those arms inhale exhale we go big bend big push your biggest bend ever that you've got find it bend the arms big bend Big push, now go, bend, press, bend, press, for seven, for six, you've got a quick ab set, in four, in three, in two, one, drop the hips down, hands come underneath your thighs, and you're gonna roll down into a C curve position. So you wanna press your lumbar spine towards the ground, and C curve out through the spine. Now bring one hand away, maybe bring the second hand away, the hands, they're gonna draw a little circle, and circle, when I say little circle, I need the circle. Go round and round. So if you want the modification of this, bring those hands back underneath your thighs. I want you to be really tilting under through the pelvis. So imagine your pelvis is a bowl of water and you are tilting the water into your belly button. We go around with those hands. If you can hear a little banging, it's another windy day here. And I have a whiteboard over there that tells me what's coming up next, minute by minute and it is just banging around. I'm insecure quite well enough. We go tap under, tap over. You've got two more here. Now last one, you're gonna turn the palms to the sky. Can you drop a little bit lower to the lumbar side? Can you tuck those hips harder? Hips come into your belly button, pelvis comes in, 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 in. Tuck, tuck, tuck. C-shape with the spine. Stay here, maybe throw your hands to the sky. You're gonna take little reaches forwards and forwards forward. So you're on the diagonal with those palms and reach and reach. Now drop lower, tuck those hips harder for three, for two, one. Well done. You're going to come straight away onto your left forearm into some inner thigh work. The back leg bends and this leg is going to lift off the floor. Press into the forearm. You're going to bring the knee to the chest. You're going to exhale the toe to me. You're going to bring it back and you're going to press the thighs in 
extend, go in, push back. Now I appreciate a lot of people won't have this range of movement. So you just want to bend, extend on a closer diagonal. So you just extend here on the diagonal, so it's not got the flexibility. If you have, you're gonna come in, extend right to me, go in, then press. The leg is off the floor at this point and the toe is pointed. Extend, in, push. You've got two more of these, let me hold. Go in to the side, one more, in, extend, in. Now press it out to the side. You're gonna take a little flex to the foot and draw your heel up to the sky. Lift, down, little up, little drop. Now you really won't get very far here, but I want you to focus on driving your forearm in towards the ground. You're pulling your inner sole up to the sky. Go lift, little drop, we go little lift little lower. Inhale, exhale. Just give me three. Just give me two. Now last one, you're going to hold there. You're going to point to the toe and you're going to bring that toe right round towards me. If you're still on the diagonal, stay there. If you can make it harder, bring the foot round, flex the foot, little tiny presses up. Make me jump that time. Little lift, little lift, little lift. We squeeze the heel to the sky. So you should feel it here. My inner thigh is shaking. You should feel it in towards your inner thigh. Squeeze the heel up, press the forearm down. You are on the side of your hip. We go, little lift. Little lift, little lift. You have just, let's do it. For 10, for 9, for 8. You've got 7, 6. More fine work coming up. In 4, in 3, in 2, 1. Sweep the feet behind yourself. Bring your toes together. Open through the knees. Hands are going to reach over the top of the head. We lift the hips. We drop the hips. We lift. We lower. The toes are connected and the hips, they press forwards, then down. Toes are connected. Knees Knees are open in towards A, B. So I want you to fire your hands up to the sky. Open your heart towards me. Surrender yourself to this workout. We go, drop the hips, lift the hips, down and up. You've got three, then we hold. Two, then we hold. Now last one, everyone's gonna hold up here. Now your hips, your tailbone pushing back, 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 back. And you're gonna lower your hips a few inches away from your heels. Now you're gonna hold hands, start to throw those arms. Throw, go throw, go throw the hands forward. So you've got an isometric hold going over those sides. Your hips are lifted away from your heels. So you're not sitting, it should be burning the front of your thighs. Now as you throw, you're gonna add a little tuck, tuck, and tuck and throw, tuck and throw, tuck and throw. So your hip bones again, same as your feet curve we did in the warm up. You're rotating hips under, hips under, but you wanna keep those hips low. It's a really small movement of your pelvis. Again, you are that bowl of water with your pelvis and you're tipping the water in and in. We're going back to a full range in four, in three, full range in two, in one. Now come up, down, lift up, lower down. If those knees have split a little bit, close them back together, you want a V. Remember the letter V from your knees down towards your toes. We go for a lift and lower. Who's ready? for the finishing action of this exercise. It's gonna burn. You've got two. Last one, don't let the hips touch the heels. Drop them down. Two inches, they're floating above your heels. Now tiny little tuck and tuck. Oh my golly gosh. Tuck, keep the hands still, just tuck the pelvis. Four, five, four, 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 three, four, two, one. Well done, lower straight away down onto your right forearm. The back, leg takes a high heel. This leg comes forward, you're gonna squeeze. Bend the knee, extend the toe. Bend the knee, push it to the side. Inhale, exhale. Remember, if you want the modified version, you're just going on the diagonal. In. Find what you can shine your inner thigh up towards the sky, up to the ceiling. You're on the forearm and you're on the side of your hip. This is inner thigh work here. In, extend. So on this part, your inner thigh burning. In, push to the side. The back heel is in a high heel position. Extend out. Inhale, exhale, you've got this. Extend. We've got two more. Extend one more. In and out. Go in. Now push to the side, flex the foot. We go a little lift. 
a little lower. Now imagine here you are Pinocchio, you have a piece of string on your heel and it's sliding up to the ceiling. You won't get very far, I know, I know, I know, it's hard to get up there, but try to use your inner thigh, find resistance. Imagine there's a weight here on your inner thigh and I'm pushing your way, pushing your thigh back down to the floor and you're pushing me away, you're fighting for those brand new inner thighs. We can do this, trust me, it's burning me too late. And drop, four more, three, a little lower, two, a little drop, last one. Now keep leg off the floor, you're gonna bring the knee into the chest, you're gonna extend the toe to me, you're gonna take a flick to the foot, foot and you're gonna drive the heel up to the sky. Now little tiny presses, up, up. Up. Remember you're on the diagonal here, if you can't quite get that flexibility. I want that knee joint lengthened. I want your foot, your heel driving up towards the sky as you start to find that tremble in your inner thigh. You've got 10 and 9, you've got 8 more. We've got quick push-ups there in 6, in 5, in 4, it's over in 3, 2, 1. Well done. You're going to straight away sweep it round, bring your hands to the edge of your mat, come down to your knees, we're going straight to a push-up set, hips to the floor. We go for a big bend, then press, go bend and press. Now it's easy to give in to the temptation to let your upper spine collapse. Do not let your chin draw to your chest. You want a straight line, crown of the head, down to those neck knees, and your, I can't think of the word there, and your body is in a long position. Your abs are pulled in, your elbows go to the side of yourself. Straight line, hips go down towards your mat. A lot of people right now will be doing this. No, please don't do that. You want your body forward. Notice your hip bones push to the floor. We you go, big bend, big push. You've got it, drop, then lift. You've got four more here. Three to the hold, two to the hold. Now hold as low as you possibly can down towards the ground. You want to be on the lower part of your thighs. Roll the shoulders down, elbows to the side. Little drop, little tiny press, seven. Push to the top in six, in five. Straighten arms in four, in three, in two, in one. Push to the top. Bring the hands underneath your shoulders, ground the palms into your mat, and then send the toes backwards. Chuck the toes under and float your knees away from the floor. It looks like that. This is not a float. This is a wild burn. <laughs> float those knees off the ground. Squeeze your abs in. I want your inner thighs touching right now. And I want you to be actively drawing your belly button up towards the spine, closing the ribs together, working on your core strength, core stability. Shoulders over the top of the wrist. Ground those palms into the ground. Do not let your upper spine collapse like this. It just does get fatigued. You want your eye line in between your fingertips. You'll strengthen the whole of your spinal column. Just give me 10, 9, lower the knees in 8, in 7. We have a pretzel with some booty work in 6, in 5. Put the hips under 4, in 3, 2, 1. Lower the knees down. Oh, it's a fast paced one today. You're going to bring yourself around. So you've got your right hand on the ground and the legs go out to a 90 degree angle, just like this. 90 degree angle, 90, 90. You're gonna bring your hands off to the side. Try and lift this leg and then drop back to the ground. Try and lift this leg and lower back down. So your back leg is at a 90 degree angle, lower to the ground. So you want your knee, take your eye line down towards your knee. Is your knee, in line with the hip. Have you got your leg hooked around the side of a box? Is your back toe in line with the knee? 90 degree angle, I can't really say any more times, can I? 90 degree angle through the front leg and the back leg. You're on towards the supporting hand. You've got your waistline peeled away from the floor. Now I taught this one three weeks ago now and the next morning I woke up. Wow, my butt was burning. All these bits around here, the bits are so hard to target. Lower back around here, wow, it burns. Good though, activating muscles, obviously they don't normally use this position. We squeeze up and we lower back down, inhale. Exhale, lift the leg up and lower back down. We've got two more of these. Lift up, lower back down. The last one, you're gonna lift and hold the leg away from the floor. If you want the modification, so you're gonna lower down to the forearm like this, but this is much easier. If you straighten through the arm, you're gonna sculpt the waistline as well. Now extend the toe to the side, press, and you're gonna wrap back. So extend the toe to the side, 
press and push back. Extend the toe to the side. That board, every time it moves, I don't know if you can hear, it makes me jump out of my skin. <laughs> push back, I'm a very jumpy person. Extend the leg out to the side, inhale. Exhale, squeezing back. You've got two more. Push back into that pretzel. One more. Extend. Push backwards. Now hold the leg out to the side. You're going to lower down onto the forearm. You're going to reach this hand all the way up. Don't let the leg drop down. And you're going to take a little flex to the foot and tiny press away. 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 The heel is patting your in line with your same hip. So don't push back too far like this and don't push forwards too much. I want the heel in line with your hip. And now option to make it a little bit harder. Rotate that toe down to the floor. Bring this top hand up to the sky. Little press, a little press. We are going to burn out your foot. Push, push. If it's not burning, rotate your toe down a little bit more and drive your heel higher to the sky. We hold in five, in four, we hold in three, in two, in one. Now stay there, I know you can turn the toe down. You're gonna drive the heel two inches up to the sky. Don't let it touch the floor because this is the end. We go to the lift for 10, for nine, for eight, it's over in seven, in six, in five, in four, it's over in three, two, one. Okay, sweep it around, other side. We can do it. You're gonna send your left foot forward, 90 degree angle, back leg backwards, 90 degree angle, hands in front of the leg. Now lift leg up, low back down. There's a mirror there, not a mirror, there's a door there. And I'm just looking at myself in these pants. I got sent these from Able. Um, I ordered a small, I love the pants. Really nice fabric, but they, they're too small. And they're like hugging me in all the wrong places. You know when you get fat rolls? And I wouldn't say I've got many fat rolls, but it's just not, I'm not feeling it. They're too small. <laughs> we go, lift the leg up, 90 degree angle. I'll just tell you the truth about doing wet hair. We go, lift the leg away from the floor, and we lower back down. Now pull the abs in, press into this grounded hand, and pull the torso away from the floor, remember. This is oblique ab activation as well, so fight for it. X and lift, low back down, lift, inhale. Exhale, low back down. You've got three more, and then we are gonna hold and low back down. You've got two more here to go. Lift the leg up and low back down. Now last one, you're gonna lift and hold. Lift the leg away from the ground. Now extend the toe to the side, and then press, push backwards. So extend the toe to the side, press and push. So every time you bring the leg back behind yourself, do not press from your lumbar side. You wanna be actively using your butt here. So using your butt, not your lower back. Inhale, exhale, squeezing the leg back and push the side. Nice deep inhale, exhale, squeezing back. Extending the toe out, lengthening through the knee and using the side of the body as you extend. Don't let the leg touch the floor. I know it's so, so tempting to let that leg touch the ground, but you can, you can do this. Extend out, inhale, exhale, extend. We squeeze it back. Now you're gonna last one, you're gonna hold it back here. So send that leg back there and lift it one inch higher. Now you're gonna drop down on towards the forearm. You're gonna send that leg out towards the side of yourself and you're gonna take a little flex to the foot. You're gonna take a tiny, then press, then press. Oh my, press into the forearm. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's just a burn, that's all it is. You're gonna press the heel away. Can you dive that toe? down towards the ground. Can you invert the toe to the floor? Can you pull the waistline away from the floor? Inhale, exhale, we go push and press and squeeze. You've just got a hold in four, in three, we hold in two, one. Now stay there, turn the toe down, heels in line with the foot, little tiny press up. You have just six, just five, it's over in four, in three, in two, one. You're going to press round onto your forearm with up there. Press the lower spine down towards the floor. Lift one leg in towards this tabletop position. Lift the other leg into a tabletop position. Bring your inner thighs together at a 90 degree angle. The hip bones are going to touch under. So we go for a little tuck release. Little tuck 
top, really. Now separate the feet, hip distance apart. Knees in line with your hips, toes are forwards. And if you notice, take a look down at your own legs. They don't move, they're not moving anywhere. All you are doing is thinking about your bowl of water in your hips, and you are tipping the bowl of water under. You're pouring the bowl of water into your belly button. Build your belly leggings. That should I? Little talk, really, so you go. Anybody else got them from this brand? Able. We go, little talk, really. So you have just three, you have just two. Last one now. Hold the tuck under, rotate your hip bones into your belly button. Open through the chest, ground the palms, the forearms to the floor. Then you're gonna go ahead and tap your left out. You're gonna lift, you're gonna tuck, really. So you go right toe, we lift, we tuck, really. So you're working in towards your abdominals now. So you want your heart open. I want your forearms in towards the ground. Tuck, release, one more, go tap, go lift, go tuck, release. Now stay here for the modification, for the advancement. You're gonna flex the feet, you're gonna push the heels forwards into the diagonal, walk around your sacrum, your lumbar spine to the floor. Now keep the legs still and add a little tiny rotate under. And that should have you shaking, burning, everything in between. Rotate the hips under, draw your hip bones into your belly button for seven, for six, four, five. I'm shaking, four, three, two, one. Lower down onto your back. Make sure you've got enough of your mat to support your head and your shoulders. You're gonna bring your hands interlace the fingertips, bring the hands behind the head. The heels walk up towards your glutes. Inhale, exhale. Bring the chin into the chest. You're gonna lift up into a crunch. You're gonna bring your left hand to your heel. Reach for the heel, back through center, and lower down. So nice and slow. Inhale, exhale, chin to your chest. You're gonna peel head, neck, shoulders away. Throw your right hand around to the heel, back through center, and lower down. Now let's try and go on the beat. Lift, throw, center, down, lift, extend. So you wanna extend and reach. Try to keep those knees nice and still, and you are just cutting in towards your waist as you throw the hand into the side. Activating through your obliques here, through your rectus abdominals, those top abs, and those side abs. We are gonna sculpt ourselves. Some fiery abs. Reach, center, and drop. We go, lift, reach, center, down. Now keep breathing, inhale, Exhale, you want to breathe in to prepare, and you want to exhale, breathe out on the toes a bit. My hair, every time I've done a workout, if I really give it everything, I don't know about you, but your hair is just always all over the show, and this is the reason why. You're like taking your hands away, putting your hands back there, also kind of dying the bit, so you don't really care what you do with your hair at the moment, when you're in that moment of burning. Back through centre, one more, lift, throw, now you're gonna drop down, last one, inhale, exhale, you're gonna lift, and you're gonna reach your left heel, to your left hand to your left heel. Now you're gonna take a little reach, 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 reach around towards the heel, little reach, oh my golly gosh, six, five, four, lower down, two, four, take your breath away, three, two, one, you're gonna reach into your chest, lift up all the way away from the floor, throw your right hand to the side, we go, reach, we reach it round. If this doesn't burn, get your head and shoulders away from the floor because I am absolutely on fire right now. Reach, you've got three, reach, you've got two, reach, one more, back to the center, lower down. <laughs> Bring your chin to your chest. You're gonna inhale, you're gonna exhale, lift away from the floor. Now lift your hands, reach them towards your toes. Now stay there, give me a little presses. Down, down, push. We can do this. Head, neck, shoulders are away from the floor. If you burn during this workout, give me a huge thumbs up down below. Give me a comment like, wow, Gabby, those are fiery abs. Press, you've got four. Three, hands back behind the head in two. One, hands behind the head, inhale. You're gonna exhale, get yourself away from the floor as high as you can, reach those hands around. You're gonna tap the heels, tap, 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 tap. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Wow, wow, wow. Bring the palms up to the sky, relax the feet down towards the floor. 
get the breath back in, inhale, get rid of that burn through your abs, top abs, that was tough. And breathe. Inhale, and exhale, well done, you've made it. We're just gonna stretch out the finish. I want you to hug the knees in towards the chest, keep the head on the floor today, and close the eyes. Flutter the eyelids closed. <laughs> Draw the knees in, give yourself a little rock side to side, left to right, left to right. I want you to rock back, I want you to rock all the way up and forwards. The feet and stay in front of yourself, and you're going to push behind the knees in towards the ground. I want you to reach the hands all the way up towards the sky. You're going to inhale as you exhale, lengthen the body, reach the hands down towards your toes, and fold the body over the top of your shin. Feel stretching here through the back of the legs, in towards those hamstrings, into your, into your butt, and your back as well. Slowly roll yourself all the way up through the spine. You're going to sweep your feet behind yourself right now. I want you to bring your left foot forwards, right foot back, 90 degree angle. And then you're just going to lift up. When you're in this position, a lot of times people forget you need to tuck the tailbone under and then push forward to the hip flexor stretch. So if you can't feel it here and towards your hip, it's because you need to take that tilt in action, that bowl of water, tuck the hips under and then press into the stretch and just hold. Hamstring stretch, drive backwards, make sure the hips are nice and square, incline the body over, straight spine, drop the hands down towards the ground and lengthen the crown of the head forward, lengthen behind the back of the knee and inhale, exhale. Sweep this leg round towards the back, stay facing this way just to make it easy and bring your right foot forwards, two 90 degree angles, then tuck the hips under, rotate that pubic bone up to your belly button and then drive forwards into the lunge and you should feel it definitely through that hip flexor. Inhale and exhale. And then I want you to push backwards, dig the heel into the ground. You're going to pitch the chest forwards, bring the fingertips down towards the floor, elongate through the crown of the head, elongate through the spine. Inhale, exhale, drive the chest low, let the body fall on towards the leg and then sweep the foot round towards the back hands under the shoulders tuck the toes under walk the hands into your feet for a flowing hamstring stretch when you reach the hamstring stretch soften through the knees roll yourself all the way up and then from here you're going to face round towards me bring your hands into a prayer position the feet step underneath your hips roll the shoulders backwards and down pull the belly button in ground the feet into your mat and now close the eyes Find a deep breath in, and then exhale. I want you to inhale through the nose, some positivity. Exhale through the mouth, negativity. And then give everything a little shake off, maybe give yourself a clap. And well done, everybody. You have made it through your 30-minute Bar and Pilates inspired workout with me. If you found the burn during this workout, make sure you leave me a comment down below or give me a huge thumbs up on this video. Thanks for joining me and I will see you again in a couple of days for another brand new video. Bye, everyone.